Ladies and gentlemen, let's react to Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer trailer. It's a bunch of freaking flashy stuff, and it's like, oh my god, look at this. There is nothing different. There is nothing different at all about the game. At all. Nothing. Hold up, I gotta go back to zero, my bad. Boom. Look at the armor. The armor flew off. Wow. For the juggernaut with riot shield. What the heck is that guy doing? Who knows? Wow. Wow. Well, oh, there's nothing. Okay, they got a Makarov. Look at that. Look at that Makarov. The best is back. Is it? It doesn't look like it's back. It like boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. 16 iconic maps. 16 iconic only maps. There is no original maps coming to the game at all. The only thing that's going to be added with the 16 iconic maps is a bunch of freaking doors. Holy crap. Opening doors is so fun, man. I love opening doors when I like just let me just do F the doors. Nobody cares about freaking doors. Okay. Just let me walk through the freaking. Let me see the guy walk through it. It's it's uh. <laughs> we're going to remodel the map and we're going to add some freaking doors. There you go. Look at that. Enjoy. Thanks, game. Wow. Holy moly. Uh, also, let's go back. This map right here. In Modern Warfare 2, I would always go up this plane. And what you'd have to do is you have to use the plane to jump on this, like, little end piece. If I can, if I can, I probably can't even find it. Maybe if I find it, I'll show you. Yeah, anyway, I can't find the specific picture I need. But anyway, you could go into, like, uh... I don't know. You can go into freaking uh, whatever that what that one mode is called. It's like it's like ground war, but it's not ground war. It's the freaking mode with the freaking AI bots, and it's like this, but there's more to it rather than just this emptiness here. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, back in Modern Warfare Two, you could go up this up the back here, or you can go up up to this spot in many ways. But the most common spot being just run and jump onto it. Or just mantle up the wing. And then you'd run up the wing. And you'd have to jump on this little platform that just sits above the cave. And then from that platform, you have to jump over to the little, like, ledge that's there. And I'd hide in that spot all, uh, every time. Every time I played Mono for 2, I'd hide in that spot. Search and Destroy all the way. Search and Destroy was only good in Mono for 2. Uh, anyone that says otherwise is a freaking liar. Anyway. So you'd have to actually jump, jump, and then jump, okay? If you miss this jump right here, you're dead. If you miss the other jump, you uh, you might survive if you hug the cave going down, but most of the time you'd be dead. But in the new map, that's not, you don't jump to anything. In the new map, they have the wing going all the way up to the cave entrance. And then if you go to the left, you can jump onto the other platform. If you go to the right, you can jump onto the other platform. But... You can't jump onto the right platform because it won't let you in that, in that, whatever the heck that mode was. I already tried. It wouldn't let you. So, even though it shows this guy running up here, he doesn't have to jump anywhere. He just runs up the wing. And then he just jumps over to the ledge. He completely skips the first part where you have to jump onto the platform and not miss. So he completely misses that part. Jump over to the ledge, but like you might not even be able to jump over there because like I said when I did it in that mode It was blocked and I couldn't jump on there. So oh, That map already ruined <laughs> the one thing good thing about the one good fun thing about that map Bring your squad bring your squad so that you can have like So you can completely completely ignore the freaking MMR the SBMM whatever that is called Wow, what the heck is that skin by the way? I don't even know Wow, look at all these skins, wow. Boom, 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 boom. Is that a G36? That's a G36. I might have to buy this game just because of that gun. No, I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna the lie. I like look, so it's it's still the same streaks. It's still the same game. There's nothing new to it. It's the same the same shotgun, same sniper. All that's in the game. Some new fancy knife. Hooray. They got diamond camo, it looks like. They got diamond camo, but like, 
Uh, pff, who cares? You go to Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 diamond camo was the best camo ever to exist in the game. Look at this. Look at how sexy that was. It's freaking sexy, my man. Look at it. Boom. MP7. Actually, that might not be Black Ops 2. B boom. Whatever the gun that was, I forget. <laughs> but, like, that's, that's a camo right there, man. That's a goddamn camo right there. That's a goddamn camo. Oh my good lord. Ooh. AK-47. But that's not Black Ops 2. I think someone just cropped that out maybe. Here it looks like. Call of Duty Mobile. Ah. I like how Call of Duty Mobile got the fucking best camo to ever exist. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. Sexy, man. This camo is fucking trash. That camo sucks. I don't even know what that is. Boom. Ah, so they're doing the thing with that they did with Advanced Warfare. Hold up. So what would happen is you had two. You had this one, which is the Royale suit, where if I actually forget how to get it, but I know that I have it. <laughs> I know that, but I forget how I got it. But I think you had to level up a bunch of guns and get them to the Royale, and then once you get X amount of guns, it would open. I... I completely forget how I got this. It's been so goddamn long. It's it's the same. Now that they're just taking that idea and they're gonna put it in this game, like, and that's not. It doesn't even look good. It doesn't even look like diamonds. It looks like crap. Launch initiated. Look at that little drone right there. Boom, boom. An EMP apparently. Wow. I don't know why they're putting the an EMP into the game. It doesn't make any sense to me because like every single kill streak in the game can easily be shot down. It's just that no one wants to shoot them down. Imagine making kill. Imagine complaining about kill streaks, and then the devs making it easier to shoot the kill streaks down, and then you still complain about the kill streaks being too overpowered because you just don't want to shoot the kill streaks down. Like it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. What the heck? What happened here? So he goes in. This guy's shooting somebody. He's backing up. He's not even, he's just pretending to shoot something. He's backing up so he can shoot that, Steve, that random, that will never ever happen. If it was a bouncing Betty on the floor, I could see that. Maybe a random Claymore that could blow up his car. I could see that. A random C4 stuck in a shelf is like slim to none chance of happening. Just want to put that out there. Like slim to none. Anyway, slim to none. I don't even think he killed that guy. He didn't even kill that guy. He, he shot that for no reason, went into canted mode. He, this guy, whoever this guy is, should be dead. He didn't even kill that guy. He didn't even kill that guy. <laughs> Man, imagine imagine your explosive being that trash. You just have a canted sight. Just put a canted sight on there. Who the hell cares? Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking like that? There's nothing there. Anyway. Uh, a bunch of sliding. That guy, I don't know why the hell... That's like a never gonna happen situation unless the enemy is actually that trash anyway And who cares about like I don't I don't understand why people like this crap. It's so annoying It's completely annoying jumping from one spot to the other and instead of just automatically just going up you have to Like freaking grab the ledge. I got a pistol like good luck You're gonna die because he has a freaking assault rifle some machine gun like you're nine times out of ten You're dead unless his aiming is crap and then just stand in there and you gotta like hold, you gotta hold the forward button just to go up. And sometimes that doesn't even work. Sometimes you just push space bar. But then when you push space bar, you just jump. You jump in the spot and then keep grab. <laughs> anyway, so stupid. Team one, two, three. Wow, amazing. Just threw a rock. That's crazy. There's the, there's the skin again. It, it still looks like trash. It looks like complete utter, utter trash. Look at it. It doesn't even look like diamond. It looks like it's so stupid. Oh my goodness! Look at it. boom, 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 boom. Wow. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh wow! Look. Wow. Wow. Wow, I I want my Call of Duty to be a realistic and immersive experience. I want it to be realistic and immersive, brother. I want my Call of Duty to be realistic and immersive. But you got fucking furries. But you got fucking <laughs> anime now. But you got fucking Nicki Minaj. 
I'm pretty soon they're going to start putting TikTok people in there. Watch. They're going to pull a Fortnite start putting random TikTok people in there. I want a realistic, immersive Call of Duty. You ain't even getting it. This <laughs> is what a joke. I want to... Oh, that's... Boom, dead. Wow. That was the multiplayer trailer. Wow. There was, like, no actual gameplay, and the one little bit of gameplay that they actually showed was was staged. It wasn't even real gameplay. It was just showing a candid freaking sight. I don't understand how that even makes sense. Because, like, he's going in here. There's the slide. He quickly gets back up, shoots that. Like, who the fuck cares? And then, for some reason, for whatever reason, feels the need to put his gun sideways. Even though he has a red dot, he's got a freaking regular sight on there. Yeah, he's got a he's got a regular sight. I don't know why he felt the need to turn it sideways unless you're using a canted sight. Like if you're using a canted sight and you're going from scope to red dot, I can see that. But to just do it randomly for the sake of doing it, like this isn't anything crazy, guys. This has already been in the game. The this has been in the game since canted sights was introduced in Modern Warfare 3. It's been a thing since Modern Warfare 3. You just turn the gun sideways. Like old OG Modern Warfare 3. You just turn the gun sideways. You go from scope to cannon sight, just turn it sideways. Like it's 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 not revolutionary. It's it's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Can you the only thing that might matter is if you can slide and shoot at the same time while canted. That might matter, but even then, you got a red dot on, bro. Who cares? <laughs> you got a red dot on. That shit's stupid. This has already been in the game. It's not revolutionary at all. And on top of that, let's go back again. They still got the same, they got the same city, they got the same stupid streaks. They got the same stupid thing they got. Well, I mean, they got, they got new logos here, but I mean, who, who the hell cares about that? But like the same streaks, the same freaking little power up thing, whatever the heck it's called, like ammo or whatever the heck it is. The same, the same crappy streaks. Like it's not, it's, it's not new at all in any way they perform it's not new at all there's nothing changing here and like i said the streaks are trash i only use the only streaks i use is a uav uh, a harrier and a freaking gunship those are like the three the three best high skills high kill streaks in the game is those three streaks and even then like who the hell cares like the the, the freaking chopper gun gets blown up in like three seconds it's nothing and it gets blown up because you got them on freaking spawn protection from streaks. So they can just turn and shoot at your gun, at yeah, your gunship or uh, your chopper gunner while you're standing there trying to kill them all. It's not revolutionary. This is all the same crap. And it's just, it, they're lying. They're, they're straight up lying to you again. They are straight up lying to you again to get you to buy their Mono Warfare 3 game because they fucked up that hard on Mono Warfare 2. Anyone that buys Mono Warfare 3 is a fucking dumbass. And you get what you deserve. You, you get the shit that you deserve. It is your own fault. Me, personally, I'm going to just play the free version of Call of Duty. Okay? I'm sticking to the free version. Because after the Modern Warfare 2 thing, I'm done. Like, I ain't trusting any... I ain't buying any more Call of Duty shit. Unless it's free. Because they fucked up that bad. And clearly, the devs don't give a shit. And they just want to keep grinding and making money off of you. And that's just... Anyone that buys it, I, I have so many questions for your life, man. I want to know what the fuck you're doing with it. Like all the, if you go to play, if you go play Warzone, all the maps are already in the game. They're just chunked together. But all the maps are already in the game. You can just go see it. It's already in there. Okay. To be honest, I think that they had those maps planned for the Modern Warfare 2 Master multiplayer, and then they were like, nah, because many people, like myself included, were saying if they release Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer. We're never gonna buy a fucking Call of Duty again. Like we're not gonna buy any of the new Call of Duties. Okay, if they remaster Modern Warfare Three, might buy that. If they remaster Black Ops One, might buy that. If they remaster Black Ops Two, yeah, I'm gonna buy that, hundred percent. But like Modern Warfare Two and then Black Ops Two, the only ones that if they remaster, I'm going to buy no matter what. And it's because I'm gonna buy it, not because of nostalgia. I'm gonna buy it because they clearly can't make a Call of Duty game. They can't make a good, fresh Call of Duty game. And they're trying to change, they're trying to like micromanage all this crap. And it just feels like it's way too much for devs that just can't make a freaking game. Like, it's it's ridiculous, man. I don't know. Anyway, that's my take on the freaking subject. And uh, like I said, if you buy one for three, you're buying a $70, $80, $90 DLC. 
And if it's shit, which it most likely will be, because it's the exact same game and the exact same gameplay as Modern Warfare 2, that it's going to make slight adjustments to things. And it's honestly not going to matter at all. That's on you, man. That is on you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant video thing. And it's, it was it's quite a long video, but anyway. <laughs> when I go on rants, I go on rants, man. It is what it is. I, it's what it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye. Anyone that pre-orders and gets the open beta early access, you're so dumb. You're so stupid. You're buying the same. You're buying the same. Uh, uh, the Call of Duty community is so fucking stupid now. Oh my god.